Hi, this is Joseph and Joe from Arm & Hammer. Hi, this is David Lee Roth, live in front of your naked <laughs> steaming eyes, and we're doing golf cart confessions and 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 and. How do you deal with haters? Haters are like hecklers, okay? They're an opportunity. Don't think of hecklers as a distraction or a misdirection. Anytime somebody wants to interrupt or disrupt, you would call attention to it, and I'll show you how you do that. Okay. P.T. Barnum was famous. He would have, for example, an old woman, and he said, she's 160 years old, and you should come see her, and everybody did. And when they stopped watching her, he started putting fake rumors in the newspaper saying, that ain't no woman, that's a rubber robot and it's held together by nuts and bolts and everybody had to come back. Okay. And then he'd have a dancing chicken. And when people got tired of that, he started sending letters anonymously to the newspaper saying, that ain't no dancing chicken, there's a hot plate under that straw. <laughs> he started heckling himself and everybody had to come back and see. It's an opportunity. It's hard to ignore it, but I try my best to. Every 100 good comments, that one comment that's bad, you know, it does get under my skin. But, you know, you just got to, like, push through it. It's human nature. You can't really please everybody. When is it okay to wear your own merchandise? It's okay for you to wear your boyfriend's merchandise if it's an extra giant large t-shirt and you got nothing else on but your cowboy boots. <laughs> When I was 23, I had a girlfriend who was 42 years old, Katy from Paris. Her father was a super billionaire, and she would come and visit me. She'd say, let's meet at the beach, and she would get off of the helicopter wearing one of my white shirts like this. She was really skinny, achingly thin, and she would wear nothing but my big white shirt, a pair of white bikini bottoms, and a belt to hold it together with some white moccasins and no socks. Eat your heart out, baby. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, right now, actually. I'll never wear it on a regular night. You know, it's kind of weird wearing my own merch. What is your go-to karaoke song? My go-to karaoke song would be I Can't Go For That by Hall & Oates. Do you want to sing some? Ooh, baby, your life. Don't Stop Believing, Journey, or AHA, Take On Me. Hey, uh, by Outkast, is it Hey, uh? Yeah. All right, 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 okay, now ladies. That's yeah! It. <laughs> what is the best rumor you've ever heard about yourself? The best rumor that I've ever heard about myself is that my name isn't David Lee Roth. I started writing a book about four years ago. Yeah. I said, you know, well, it's about an astronaut. Ah, Dave, you're no astronaut. I said, well, maybe it's a cowboy. He said, nah, nah, you're not a cowboy. So I started going, my name isn't Roth. Everybody started listening. Okay. But the rumors started getting around that maybe there's a little more there than meets the eyeball. That's just a rumor. Well, I'm going to leave it up to you. Unsubstantiated. Hard to approach that I have like a resting bitch face, you know, oh. things like that. Yeah. <laughs> let me see, let me see. You're fine. All right, good, good. I passed Let's the test. Show us your signature dance move. <laughs> Is there anything else you'd like to confess? I love you, baby. Don't love me back, just rent me. So we're about to go on in like 30 minutes and uh, we're extremely freaking nervous. Yeah. But I think we're gonna, this is gonna be the best night of our life. Yeah, no pressure. No pressure no it's no pressure. just the most important show we've yeah, ever been know. a part of, you know, no pressure. Yeah. I played a show once and somebody's like, is Getter, is that you? I'm not Getter. Don't let the music stop. Rock, 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 rock.